Hello everyone, I'm making this video to talk about something that I mentioned on the stream last night. Many of you may be aware of this, but just in case, I want to talk briefly about Ronvid of Smallmarsh. It's the guy who challenges you to three duels to supposedly defend the honor of the loveliest woman alive, Maid Bilberry, all the way from Velen to Novigrad. And after the third one, you can decide to actually kill him. So, obviously when I did this for the first time, I thought he's just a random fool who's probably in love with a girl that will never notice him and does something stupid to perhaps win her over or something. And I didn't think much of it. However, the truth seems to be much deeper and uh, much more sad than that. And it's kind of hiding in plain sight. I personally did not see it until my second playthrough. And that is a notice you find in Crow's Perch notice board. The notice is written by someone called Butkins, which to me immediately sounded like it could be this guy. And he writes about the death of his lovely daughter, which has the exact same name, Bilberry, and died only at the age of four. So I think this poor guy simply lost his mind after the death of his four-year-old daughter and created this fairy tale world in his mind where his daughter is this beautiful lady and he has to fight to defend her honor. And it even could be that he wanted to die and that is why he decided to challenge Geralt and supposedly a hundred others, but it's pretty obvious that he never challenged anybody else. I think he chose Geralt on purpose just so that he can kill him. Well, pretty obvious may be an overstatement, but when you meet him for the second time, he says that he's been practicing against many scarecrows. That's really my evidence here. Also, another weird thing about the notice, look at the ending. He writes where she was buried and then says, you know, if anyone would like to light a candle for her, they can go there. Why would you write such a notice, provided that you're still around, to light candles yourself or perhaps tell people where to go? It, it just seems weird. It sounds a bit like saying goodbye. And also, I should add that I have spent some time wandering around Cross Perch looking for a crooked tree and a grave next to it, but I wasn't able to find it. So those are my thoughts, tell me what you think, and thank you for watching. I think it goes without saying that this is one of the reasons why I think The Witcher 3 is such a great game. So there you go, until next video, stay tuned and be good.